Hi, boys and girls. We're going to get ready to read chapter 14. Did it leave you at the seat of your pants at the end of the last chapter? That's called a cliffhanger. And I'm sure many of you probably wanted to just keep reading. I think I'm going to post both of these at the same time, just so you can read both if you'd like. And remember, you don't have to wait for my uploads. You can read them whenever you'd like. Here we go. Just don't tell anybody. The next chapter is called chapter 14, Trapped. Remember, you're going to follow along with your finger. And remember, you could always use a pencil to underline key ideas and circle words you might not know. Maybe you didn't know what craned mean, meant in the last chapter. I kind of tried to show you, but those are words that you could always look up after you read. And remember, we use our context clues to figure out what words mean. We could read the word before it or after it or the sentence before it or the sentence after to try and figure out if we can know what the, figure out what the word means. All right, here we go. Trapped. Drake ducked as dirt rained down. He closed his eyes tight. Then the shaking stopped. Drake opened his eyes. All the candles had gone out. He looked behind him in the darkness. Worm, are you all right? Worm looked fine. In fact, he didn't have any dust on him. Everyone else was pretty dirty. Is everyone okay, Drake asked. Anna was on the ground. Bo, Bo helped her up. I'm fine, she said. That was scary, though. Rory walked over. I'm sorry, she said. I didn't know why that weird ball of light made Vulcan freak out. Drake looked around. Thankfully, it's gone now. He should get back. We should get back, Bo said nervously. Drake looked past Worm. The tunnel was blocked with rocks and dirt. I don't think we can, Drake said. The way, out, the way outside is blocked too, Rory said. We're trapped, said Bo. He turned pale. Anna's dragon made a sad sound. It's okay, Kepri, Anna said, stroking Kepri's snout. Can you give us some light, please? Kepri opened her mouth and a beautiful white ball of light came out. The light hung in the air. Vulcan is strong, Rory said. He should be able to push through the rocks. Vulcan was calmer now that the red orb was gone. He pushed the rock wall, but the rocks didn't budge. Come on, Vulcan, Rory urged him, but Vulcan couldn't break through. Bo spoke up. I could have Shu blast through the rocks with water. Anna frowned. What if it doesn't work and the tunnel will fill with water? Everyone was quiet. They knew Anna was right. They were stuck. Everyone was, I'm sorry. Drake looked at Worm. Sorry, I got you into this, he whispered. Then Worm's green eyes started to glow. A green light swept from the top of Worm's head to the end of his tail. Now that is pretty fierce. Drake jumped back. Worm? He felt something warm, warm on his chest. He looked down to see that his dragon stone was glowing too. Annie, Rory, and Bo's mouth dropped open. They stared at Worm and Drake. Worm's green glow filled the tunnel. Drake, it looks like your dragon's going to explode, Rory yelled. And that's another cliffhanger. Hmm, should I just read one more? I think I'm gonna read one more. Do you guys want one more? Here we go, chapter 15, just because. Worm surprise. Worm didn't explode. Instead, the dragon closed his eyes. Then the rocks blocking the tunnel began to shake. What's happening, Bo yelled. Is Worm doing that? Asked Anna. I think, I think he's using the power of his mind, Drake said. He wasn't sure how he knew, he just did. Rory, Anna, and Bo stepped back. The rocks kept shaking. Then, poof! The rocks broke up into tiny pieces. Rock, rock dust filled the air. Drake coughed. 
waving the dust away with his hand. All of the fallen rocks were gone and the tunnel was cleared again. Drake hugged Worm. You did it, Worm! We should get out of here before Vulcan sneezes from all the dust, Rory said. The last time he sneezed, he turned my bread into toast. <laughs> Rory's right, said Bo. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh. Drake stepped through the pile of rubble and found himself face to face with Griffith. Simon the guard stood behind Griffith. You are all in very big trouble, the wizard said. The whole castle is awake and King Roland is furious. I wonder what's going to happen. We're at chapter 16. We'll read it next week. Bye, guys.